Hi everyone, my name is Nina Xue. I'm a PhD student at Monash University, and today I'll be presenting work that is joined with Daniela Nascenzo and Ertis Xiao. So from a legal perspective, punishment can serve an important role in signaling what society deems to be appropriate or inappropriate behavior. And what we're interested in is whether the motive behind punishment matters for its effectiveness. So we compare two types of punishment. The first is what we call self-serving punishment. So here the principal uses punishment to try to change the agent's behavior in order to benefit themselves. The second type is what we call other regarding punishment. So here again, the principal uses punishment to try to change the agent's behavior only this time to benefit a third party. So our first research question is, is punishment less effective when it is interpreted as self-serving as opposed to other regarding? And secondly, does self-serving punishment transmit a weaker normative message than other regarding punishment? So our first game was designed to model self-serving punishment. So we have three players, and player B chooses between the communal project, which gives equal payoffs, and the exclusive project, which gives higher payoffs to two players and excludes a third. So in this case, A is excluded. Before player B makes their choice, player A decides whether or not to impose a fee for player B choosing the exclusive project. And so we use the strategy method to elicit B's choices so one conditional on punishment and one conditional on no punishment. And player C is just a passive player here. So our second game models other regarding punishment. And the only difference here is that uh, in the exclusive project, um, it is now between A and B and C is the excluded player. And so one thing to note is that for player B, their payoffs are exactly the same in both games. And punishment in our context is weak. So player B is always better off choosing the exclusive project, even under punishment. We also elicit normative beliefs from our player C, so our third party. And we elicit their first order beliefs, second order beliefs, and empirical beliefs. So our first main result is that other regarding punishment is effective at discouraging selfish choices you can see that in the right here. So we have a larger proportion of communal choices under punishment compared to no punishment. And we don't see um, any effect really of punishment when it's self-serving. We can also look at player B's strategies. So EPCP, for example, here means that under no punishment, they choose exclusive. And under punishment, they then switch to communal. So here, punishment is effective at constraining self-interest. So we can see here that for game two, we see a larger proportion where punishment is effective relative to game one. And for game one, we see that we actually have a sizable portion where punishment actually backfires. Turning now to norms, we find that the stigma of making a selfish choice is higher under other regarding punishment than under self-serving punishment. So in this table, I'm presenting the relative appropriateness of choosing the exclusive project over the communal one under punishment. So a positive number here means that people believe it's relatively more appropriate to choose exclusive under punishment and a negative number means that people believe it's relatively more appropriate to choose communal under punishment. So you can see across all our beliefs, uh, under punishment, the stigma of choosing exclusive over communal is lower under self-serving punishment than it is under other regarding punishment. And so all of these differences are significant. So our main takeaways, firstly, we find that other regarding punishment is effective at discouraging selfish behavior, while self-serving punishment can actually sometimes backfire. We also find that other regarding punishment increases the social stigma of self-interested behavior. And finally, something we didn't necessarily expect, uh, we find both the choice to punish 
and the choice not to punish can send a normative message to agents. Thanks very much for your time and attention. We would be very happy to receive questions or feedback, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the seminar.